In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock a cell reference by using F4. Um, but first, I'm just going to kind of explain cell reference and what I mean by that. So in Google Sheets or other spreadsheet programs like Excel, um, by default, there is what's called relative cell reference. Um, so what that means, I'll just show you an example here. So I'm going to do a formula of um, this cell plus this cell. So cell reference, um, what I mean is I'm referencing these cells in my formula, A1 and B1. So by default, spreadsheet programs have relative cell reference. So what this means is that um, when I move down one row, you can see my formula is now taking A2 plus B2. If I move down another row, it's now A3 plus B3. So the cell reference is relative to the column and row that I am on. So if I copy and paste the formula now to the right, you can see every time I go one column to the right, my formula moves one column to the right. So this is what relative cell reference is. But um, you can force these spreadsheets to not do that so they won't move. And what that would be is absolute cell referencing. So I'll just show you in this example, um, what I want to do is I want to add all of the values in column B to the value in this cell. So I would do that same formula of A1 plus B1, but this time I'm going to lock um, my formula in cell A1 by using absolute cell referencing. So now when I paste down one row, instead of it moving, you can see it always is taking the value in the A1. Similarly, if I was just to copy this columns to the right, it's staying locked in A1. So this is called absolute cell referencing. How you do this is um, you press F4 on your keyboard. So I'll just show you one more time. Equals A1, then I'm gonna press A4. Um, it's going to put a dollar sign in front of the A, a dollar sign in front of the 1. This is absolute cell referencing. So it's staying locked on that cell no matter where I move. So you can also lock it on a row. So if you hit F4 once, it's going to do the absolute cell referencing. If I hit it another time, it's going to do um, a lock on the row. So let me just go into my formula and I'll show you this. So now it, the dollar sign is only in front of the one or the row. So I'll show you what this does. So it is still taking A1 and it's only in that first row. But the difference is as I move columns, it still moves um, to the right one column. So it's staying on this row. It's not going to move down this way, but it will move to the right that way as long as it's in this first row here. If you hit F4 a third time, or if you put the dollar sign in front of the column letter, it's going to do kind of something similar to the row lock, but this time it's only going to lock it on the column. So in this one, when I paste my formula down, it does move down in column A relative to the row that I'm on. So every row I go down, it's still going to travel this way. It's not going to travel this way. So if I copy this this way, see it's only going to stay there because it's locked in row A. So those are the different ways that you can lock your formulas um, with different cell referencing. Again, it's hitting F4. If you hit it once, absolute, 
twice. It's going to be the row lock three times. It's going to be the column lock. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.